Hello, my name is Gabriel and I have the call Schizophrenia. Today I'm going to talk about what you need to know about schizophrenia. So schizophrenia is a disorder where one may become delusional, um, disconnected from reality, and experience paranoia, mania, and hallucinations of things that aren't really there. It's important to know that there is treatment for schizophrenia via medication and I believe the power is within yourself to break out of psychosis. You need a lot of willpower to do it. And you need to accept that you may have been wrong about some of your beliefs. I had to give up some of my beliefs that I felt I've learned in psychosis. I had to give them up and accept that it's not reality and this helped me break out of psychosis. So schizophrenia affects the brain in a way that may cause memory impairment. So you have short, short term memory loss and you can remember things that happened far in the past, but your short um, everyday memory is kind of weak. And I see this in myself too. Um, so yeah, this means someone with schizophrenia can have short term memory problems, like I said and they may forget appointments. Like me, I forget about my appointments. I miss a lot of appointments. And it's I I found out that I remember what I'm interested in remembering, but the stuff I'm not looking forward to, I forget. Uh, one of the th common symptoms of schizophrenia and something most people think about when they hear the word schizophrenia is the hallucinations and the paranoia and delusions. And if you're having any of these symptoms, please make sure you talk to your doctor and get the help you need. I've been there. Um, I've gone through psychosis twice now, maybe three times. And I know that going to the hospital really helped. When I was younger, I started thinking my TV was recording me and um, I thought there was a camera on the TV, but there wasn't. And I was really paranoid about this. And I felt like when I was singing, people were watching, like when I was listening to music. Um, and this was just one of my many paranoias. Um, I'm 25 years old and I was diagnosed with schizophrenia when I was 16. So I've had schizophrenia for nine years. Um, I also went through psychosis. Well, I first went through psychosis in 2015. I, I'm not sure if I said that already. And I also went through psychosis again in 2020 when I came off my medication. I came off my medication because I was already weaning myself down and then one day I got my blood work done and they told me that my clozapine levels were messed up and I had to stop taking it for three days. So I said, you know what, I'm not taking it ever again. I just decided I wasn't taking it ever again. And shortly after, I went straight into psychosis within weeks. Um, but after a couple of months, I came back onto my medication and after a couple of months, my psychosis slowly disappeared. And I got lucky. Uh, my advice to anyone who may be dealing with these symptoms of schizophrenia is to get help and treatment um, right away and invest in your mental health. That's the best advice I can give to someone. Every time you go through psychosis, you can have further and worse problems. And this is why it's important to take your health, your mental health seriously and put your mental health first. Another thing that schizophrenia can cause that I've noticed in myself is panic and anxiety. And hallucinations and paranoia can make you have panic attacks and anxiety attacks because it's a scary thing to experience. And this anxiety and panic can actually make your schizophrenia way worse. So another thing you might want to treat 
is your anxiety. And I did this by drinking chamomile tea at night to relieve my nerves and help me sleep. And I would also put meditation music on in the background. This is just what helped me. Um, I used to hear voices in 2020 when I went to went through psychosis. The main theme of voices were the I thought they were spirits counting down. They would whisper in my ear, three, two, one. And when they reached zero, my heart would start racing. And it would race to the point where my arms would go numb. So I thought that the voices were causing heart attacks within me. And this was scary because it felt like my life was in the hands of something that didn't like me. And this was traumatic for me. And this is one of the reasons why I came back on my medication. And it was literally a nightmare. So my message, if any of you are going through this, is to remember you're not alone. And I've gone through some, some scary things when it comes to psychosis. And yeah, it's definitely not fun. Not fun at all. It's actually uh, very scary. Um, something I learned that helped me through psychosis. I um, already went through that. I wrote down everything I needed to talk about today. Another thing that's important is taking the right vitamins and making sure you're not deficient in vitamin D, vitamin B12, um, all of these vitamins, if you have deficiency, it can affect your health poorly. And um, eating right, eating right can really help. Um, it's not gonna fix everything, but eating right is definitely a big deal. Another thing I noticed about psychosis is I would get scary, scary nightmares um, to the point where when I was awake, I felt like I was still in the nightmare after I woke up and it was like no no difference between being awake and sleeping. It was just one reality and the lines were blurred. And I woke, I had a dream once that a demon was standing over me. It was like this black mist and it was holding me to my bed and the scary music was playing in the dream. And I couldn't move and I woke up and the first thing I did was I ran right upstairs and told my mom I was freaked right out so that's another thing that I noticed about schizophrenia is it can uh, it can cause nightmares so you want to be really careful when it comes to that because nightmares are not fun um, Another thing I noticed about schizophrenia is a lot of people with schizophrenia stay up late. Um, they feel more creative at night. And this is another thing I noticed within myself. Uh, when I was in psychosis, I liked staying up and I could never sleep. But towards the end of my last psychosis in 2020, I realized how much sleep was important. And when I came back on my meds, I was relieved to actually be able to fall asleep every night. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. Very grateful. And yeah, so we talked about nightmares, uh, hallucinations, paranoias. Um, another paranoia I had was I thought that I was connected to a server. My brain, I thought my brain was connected to a server where other people with schizophrenia could hear each other's thoughts. So I thought the voices I was hearing could be somebody else's thoughts and that they could hear my thoughts and people were per perceiving the voices as hallucinations. But I thought we were really connected to this server of schizophrenic people. And I thought that we were just sharing each other's thoughts. So that was pretty weird because um, it seemed real to me at the time. It really did. It seemed very real. So, yeah, schizophrenia, it, it can make you feel very magical at times, but there's what goes up must come down. 
So if you feel really good in psychosis, um, it's very possible that at any minute that could drop and you'll feel really bad. And this is why it's important to get help. So yeah, just make sure you do your research. If you think you have schizophrenia, see a doctor. Um, if you already know you have schizophrenia, I'm here for you and I know you can get through it. My name's Gabriel and I have a call schizophrenia. Subscribe for more.